Okay, I want to share a really good analogy that Chris Sandel, if you are familiar with Real Health Radio, does an amazing podcast. I think one of the best podcasts out there on eating disorder recovery, covering every single aspect of recovery and has such great people on to interview. And anyways, he was, this is a really great analogy when it comes to like motivation and perhaps lacking the pleasure some days in recovery and kind of feeling like, nah, I don't really feel like it today. Imagine if you're in a car accident or any kind of accident and you had to relearn how to walk. And relearning how to walk, I haven't had to do that before, but I would imagine that would take a lot of time, a lot of determination, a lot of hard work. And so if you were learning how to walk, and let's say you were supposed to show up to physical therapy every morning and you have to do all these different kinds of exercises to try to strengthen your legs and get yourself back to a place where you can walk, I would imagine that you wouldn't wake up some mornings and be like, nah, I'm over it. I don't think I really, I don't think I care that much about walking. It's kind of overrated. Yeah, not today. I'm not doing it today. You probably wouldn't figure out how to walk again, at least not anytime soon. And I think of that in terms of recovery and how many days you have where you wake up and you're just like, no go. Nope, not doing it. I don't want to do it. I feel uncomfortable in my body. I feel full from yesterday. I've got a lot of things going on today that will stress me out enough. I can't deal with one more thing. I, I'll, I'll figure it out tomorrow. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll show up tomorrow for recovery. And then the next go, day goes by and it's like, well, I mean, I kind of, yesterday was kind of rough and I, I kind of, uh, it's not going to help, right? You can't skip days in recovery because you're not feeling motivated. You will never achieve your goal of full recovery. And so think about that in your own recovery and how you can apply that to yourself and whatever the things that come up that demotivate you, that make you feel like you don't want to do it, or maybe you have patterns that you see. It's like, yeah, I do really well for three days. And then on that fourth or fifth day, you know, I just really struggle. And then I struggle for a few days and then I pull myself back and then I do well for a couple of days and then I pull myself. And think about if this was the setting of learning how to rewalk. Again, it would take so much longer. It would take so much longer to rewalk because any progress you made, if you're taking several days off, you have to redo that progress, right? To get back to where you had started. And I see the same thing as taking days off of recovery. If you're doing all these great things for rewiring and then you take a few days off or a week off, month off, whatever it is, and you kind of pick it back up again, you got to rewire that stuff again because your brain's reverted back to its old patterns of thinking. And so apply that to your own recovery I've talked before in the past that motivation is garbage. Mel Robbins talks a lot about that. It's very unreliable. It comes and it goes and pretty much any kind of like stressor or any kind of discomfort in your body is going to demotivate you very fast. And if that's what you're relying on in recovery, how many days do you have where you feel uncomfortable in your body? A lot in recovery. How many days do you have a lot of stressful things going on in recovery? A lot. How many things are out of your control in recovery? like out in, in your other everyday life, a lot, right? And so motivation cannot be a reliable tool for you to get through recovery. It has to be like, I'm on a mission. I need to learn how to walk. I can't walk. I got to figure out how to walk to live my life here. I got to get back to a place where I can walk. And for you, it's, I have an eating disorder. I get, I have to get back to a place where I'm no longer a slave to that. I have to get back to a place where I'm mentally free from that so I can go on and live my life. Okay. All right. That's my message today. Have a good day. Bye.